Well, welcome to Culture Makers. My name is James and this is my friend Steve and Cole. And today we are talking about mini brands, Post Malone and Pokemon and the NBA. You are gonna be in for a treat. So with that being said, now what you've got to understand is that you're new here. I am absolutely and new. And so there's some rules that you have to follow. If you don't follow the rules to the letter, you'll never be welcomed back. Oh, dang, okay. You want to tell me what the rules are? No, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Cool. Uh, as you can cool. tell though, Stephen Cole, he's new here. He is filling in for Vince Parker, who's out of town right now. But what you need to know about Stephen is that he and I were on the same team here at Life Church together for years. He is the worship pastor at Life Church Edmond and the worship pastor for Life Church Online. So if you ever attend Life Church Online, you've probably seen his face. You've heard his vocals. Just give him a little, give him a run so they can, they can recognize you. <laughs> Remember yeah, just that? like that. Remember that? Every single time. Uh, but here's the deal. We're talking about all things culture and how we as Christians should think about the things that are happening in our world. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is something that seriously needs to be talked about. Absolutely. And we're going to need your help to help us understand because we're like millennials and boomers over here. Mm. Millennial, boomer. Uh, and I don't think we quite get it. Yeah. But the first thing we're talking about, we're talking about mini brands. Yeah. Steven, will you show them the things that we have? So over here... We've got, I guess this is the checkout thing. <laughs> and this is ground cinnamon. Come on, that's good. Cinnamon but challenge. But small. Yeah, yeah, but teeny tiny. I've got, what do I have? So I've got Thai kitchen coconut milk. Okay, can they, that, you get, y'all seeing see this? The, can you see this? Let me do this. I know this is important. There's a couple other things, but I, I don't get it, James. Well, so the best part was we watched the we watched one of the TikToks that went viral of these mini brands on display, yeah. and I literally the whole time I'm watching it, I'm like, man, this is how I know I'm getting old, because I don't I don't understand. So please, please help us understand what is the appeal of mini brands. Like I heard about somebody who got millions and millions of views and like made what twenty bucks on it. Yeah. But then they had to spend tons of money to get all of their mini brand like little grocery items and things. It feels like Pokemon cards right. from back in my day. It just it just altogether doesn't make any sense. Right. I'm thinking if this dude's making 20 bucks, then why not just come mow my yard? That's gonna take <laughs> you literally 30 minutes, hey. maybe less. But here's the thing, we do have one of the like Snack packs? That's oh, not yeah. what it's called. <laughs> Did you call it a snack pack? Yeah, because well, because it's got food items in it, and it's a pack of them. Okay. And Steven's gonna open this on on screen, and we're gonna see if we can't get some of those rare items that I know some of y'all are looking for. Okay, I heard this is important, James. Hold on. Shh. Ready? Oh God, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. Shh. You're failing this. It's supposed I to be one it. smooth but motion. Listen. See, that came off easy. That's how they do it on TikTok. I don't know how to open this, James. I'm just literally going for it. I would love to help you, but I, I can't. Why can't you help? I jammed my thumb doing jujitsu. Dang. There we go. Oh! oh okay. What do we got in there? Good. I, I is, there, is there even they, things in there? Yeah, but it, it opened up very weirdly. So we've got... What is that? Oh, it's, it's Baby Bell. Oh, we actually have two Baby Bells now. Are these rare? One baby bell, two baby bells. Let's see what else. Um, I got some kind of ticket. Old Bay, Old Bay seasoning. Mm. That sounds like uh, something I'd call my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> 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 uh, nah, she's my Old Bay. That's my Old Bay. That's good. If you guys want to go ahead and start using that, just hashtag Old Bay. Yeah. Port salt. I don't know. Is this cheese? It looks like a. That's like a slice. thing of cheese. Yeah. Bah! Uh, some pickles. Good. I, this was on that video, but it was a different kind of pickles. It was probably the cheap ones. Yeah, these, these are the ones you get at the expensive stores. These are the good ones. That's that Whole Foods pickles right there. There it is. Uh, and then, ooh, classic Velveeta cheese. Mm. Or shells. It's the shells, too. Oh, the shoot. The shells are my favorite as a kid. So Dude. I'm all about these. But I'm going to have to go with a why. Still going with the why are we doing this? <laughs> I want to know... I want to know why. So what's so funny about that question is this is literally the question that once you're asking why about things on the internet, that's how you know you're no longer relevant. Listen, if you're watching this, don't, don't go buy these things. <laughs> don't do it. You're not going to make money. I, he told you already, you're going to make $20. <laughs> $20. Don't Come do on. it. A Stephen Cole band, ladies and gentlemen. Dang. So here's the question now. 
talking about this new trend that's going viral on TikTok. Yep. Let's just talk about social media as a whole. Stephen Cole, your thoughts. Is social media helpful or harmful? Go. I think it can be both. I think it can be helpful. Um, I see it as a way to connect with my friends, my family, stuff like that. Um, but it can also be harmful once it gets to the side of comparison and really like finding things on there that you shouldn't be looking at. As a believer, as a, a follower of Christ, man, like I'm trying to like do my best to live a life that's worthy of uh, of Jesus. I think that, you know, our social media profiles, platforms, whatever you want to call it, depending on what social media it is, are a reflection of who we are. Yeah. And that's the question that I'm always asking is, man, is this Instagram account, is this, you know, like TikTok, is this YouTube channel actually reflecting who I want to be, like who I want to be known as, who I want to be known for? Yeah. Is it pointing people to what's good, to what's true, to what's uplifting? Mm -hmm. If it is, fantastic. If it's not, I should probably make some changes because, you know, there's a lot of haters out in the world and uh, the last thing the world needs is more haters. And for those of us who are followers of Christ, I think one of the best things that we can do is use the platforms, the influence that we have to just bring goodness, to bring love, to bring life into those different places. And so I think when we use social media in that way, it can be really, really helpful. Yeah, yeah. But you know, if we're just gonna be a troll on the internet, probably not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Which to be fair, I've definitely done that, but I'm trying to be better. Yeah, not me. I've Great. never done that. Social media, is it helpful or harmful? Both, it depends. Many brands, good or bad. I don't know, you tell us, comment down below. I need to know. Tell us what we're missing. Uh, here's what we're gonna do though. Next, we're talking about what was a historic event. Yeah, it was a 25 year anniversary of Pokemon, which I don't, I don't know if you know this, but that was like my childhood. I remember getting the very first ever holographic Charizard Pokemon card oh, that I dang. had. And that thing, all the kids in school wanted to be my friends after that. That's right. But now, instead of just these cards at school, we've got Post Malone remaking an old country song in an anime music video <laughs> for Pokemon. Did you did you see the video? What did you think? Listen, <laughs> this is another one of those things that I don't understand. The best no, no, actually I do understand because I get it. Like, hey, let's do like this cool anniversary song. <sighs> Hootie and the Blowfish though? Hootie and the Blowfish. We're going. <laughs> I don't even know what I wanna be with you. That I wasn't ready for the the tie. The tie, I'm not getting the I only wanna be with Pikachu. I only wanna be with <laughs> like change the yes. words. Change something. That's what it was missing. It just was I only wanna be with Pikachu. That would have been dope. Dang. So here's the thing though, like I, I thought it was fantastic. Right? Like what a weird way to combine post Malone, Pokemon, and an and an old country song and put it all together in something that caused me to ask the question why, which is an indicator that I'm old, but also at the same time, I'm like, I love this. Like, this is fantastic. Yeah. I, I agree. I The song choice was what was the weirdest part for yeah. me. Yeah. And I, when I first saw that it was happening, I was so hoping that Post Malone was just covering the Pokemon theme song. Do you know that? Right, you know I talking? don't know that all song. All right, you ready? Cause I wanna be the very best like no one ever was. That's how it starts, it's really good. You like that? I... Hey, if you ever need me to lead worship. Oof. Okay. That's my audition. Nick Jonas also released a new song. Uh, I, You were describing <laughs> your feelings about it before we started. I feel, I feel like a straight up hater right now. Like, I don't think I've said something positive about anyone so well, far. Well, you're really channeling your disappointed dad energy. Dang. <laughs> what was the name of it again? Spaceman. Yo. My boy said Spaceman about a thousand times. <laughs> Listen, I write songs. I'm not saying I'm the best songwriter in the world, but you can't say that's you can't say Spaceman that many times. He was wearing a space shuttle suit. I don't know. First of all, he's ripped. The dude is about to pop out of the suit. I saw suit. that. So that was kind of cool. I was like, the, my, my guy's ripped. That's dope. <laughs> but the song has no, is a no. The song is a no. I am... I'm just saying. Maybe y'all like it. Tell me why. I did, Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Ooh. That's also a song reference. Y'all don't know. Come on. We so, actually. Do they yeah, know that? They probably do that. They're oh, smart. Okay, okay. They've got the internet. So we've got a question, though, from one of our uh, listeners. It was uh, Daphne Emancipe asked the question, how do you filter the music you listen to? Right? What are the aspects that make you listen to a song 
or not. So now I know we've talked about this in a previous Culture Maker episode, but because we actually have Stephen Cole who writes music, who sings all the time, we'd love to get your thoughts, Stephen. Like how do you filter what you will and won't listen to? Uh, man, words are everything. It's like too easy to just disregard that. I, I love hearing people talk about like, I'm like, man, nah, man, I only listen to it because I just like the way it sounds, bro. I just <laughs> love the way it sounds. Uh, but then they go off to sing pretty much every lyric that's in the song, like just <laughs> oh, jam into it, just all about it. And it's like, man, listen, like the stuff that you put in you is going to be the stuff that comes out of you. So that's if good. that's in rela relationships, right. if that's in friendships, all that stuff, like all these different songs are, man, they're they're awesome. Like I'm, I'm one for production. Like I produce music. I love music so much. But you've got to draw a line to like what you're allowing into your Come life. On, so we got another question from uh, one of our viewers, Lachey Miller asked the question, what do you think about rappers in today's society? Are you much of a, do you listen to a lot of rap? Uh, I used to. Yeah. As far as that question, I just, I mean, it's the same as it is. Like people are just rapping from their situations. Sure. And some of them really suck. Some of them are great. Some of them are just lying because they want to sound cool. <laughs> It's like literally the same thing. Like stylistically, I mean, it's probably not like my like my jam. Yeah. But I I can appreciate like someone going out and just doing their thing. But yeah. yeah. Well, I thought what was interesting about this question is they asked, "What do you think about rappers and not just rap?" And I think this is like a really important question for mm -hmm. those of us who are Christians to wrestle with, because I think it's really easy at times to assume that because somebody says or is associated with something. That it's like, oh, now they're, you know, that that defines all of who they are. Right. But for those of us who are followers of Christ, what we believe defines who we are is the fact that every single one of us is made in the image of God. Yeah. That means every single one of us has so much capacity and potential for good, for beauty, for truth, for love, for relationship. And so, like, when I think about rappers, regardless of what they rap about, I think, man, that's a human being made in the image of God. And they right. might be saying some things that I don't agree with, or they might be saying some things that are actually really helpful, mm -hmm. and it just might be a different method. Like, I think that what's really powerful to see are those rappers who use that medium of rap to speak a message to our culture, to get people to wake up to the realities of some of the choices that they're making and some of the things that are numbing them yeah. to what life is really about. That's not everybody. Because there's some music that, you know, it's kind of empty, it's just a good beat, but there's not a great message behind it. And so yeah. all of that being said, I think it depends, right? Depends on the rapper, depends on the song. But at the end of the day, as followers of Jesus, we believe that every single human being is made in the image of God. And because of that, it is our responsibility to love them, to give them grace, and to believe the best about them. So yeah. that's kind of my thoughts on that. Segwaying into the final topic, we're talking about some sports. Because some things happened this last week. You actually dressed up today in honor of the one oh, and only boy. Tiger Woods, who I think most people agree is like the greatest golfer of all time. I'm gonna say it. Yeah. I'm gonna say it right now. I mean, you dressed up as him, so hopefully that. I'm not dressed up as him. No, no, him. you specifically showed up today and said, Listen, I wanted to be like Tiger Woods. <laughs> I saw what happened to him, that sucks. I'm just, this is my this is my Tiger Woods support. That's what it is. Well, That's what it's all about, bro. Which cool is the good thing is, it seems like he's doing okay. Yep. And there were a lot of golfers who showed up this past weekend to honor him. For those of you who don't know, Tiger Woods was in an accident, in a car accident this past week. But like I said, thankfully he's doing well. People yep. showed up dressed with the red top. Blop. Black pants. Pam. Pam? <laughs> I should have said bam. I should have said a lot of things. You could have said I so said many pam. things. But what you said, you said Black and I, Pam. And I that's loved a new it. thing too. So that's what happened in the world of golf. I don't know anything else about golf because I don't watch it. it yeah. All I know is I, I'm left handed. Oh, okay. So Lachey, uh, who asked the question about rappers, also asked us this question Who do you think? is the greatest NBA player ever, or currently. So you, you can answer either way. And Lachey, yeah. okay. Lachey thinks I'm, I'm that the so greatest ready. player ever is Damian Lillard. What? Stephen Cole, what are your thoughts? Michael Jordan, from here and to infinity and beyond. <laughs> you heard it, Michael freaking Jordan. So you know what's funny? Is I actually used to make the argument that LeBron James was the greatest of all time. If you say that, and I'm then, really, I will literally walk out. If okay, you say fine. Me. LeBron James is the greatest of all time. So, <clears throat> now that he's gone, he didn't actually leave. He just shut the door. I uh, did. Go back, he go back. Got me, he got me. He got me. He got okay, me. Okay, okay. <laughs> what I was saying is I used to say that, and I used to argue vigorously about it mm -hmm. until I saw Space Jam 2. <laughs> <laughs> 
thought you were. I thought you were out of like the stats. I thought no. Space Jam. Because the you're first Space Jam, me. incredible. Space Jam Two, more like Space Jam Poo. Wait, was Michael Jordan even in Space Jam Two? No, LeBron was. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I never saw Space Jam Two. <laughs> Yeah, clearly you're so I hot. did not, yeah, what, I didn't watch you didn't, that. You didn't follow that train of thought. I was saying LeBron was the best. Uh, then I saw Space Jam 2. This all makes sense now. <sighs> okay, cool. Well, good thing Steven's <laughs> following. But back to Lachey's pick, Damian Lillard. Here's the problem with that, Lachey. We're from Oklahoma, and Damian Lillard has called himself the Thunder Killer. That's not okay. The Oklahoma City no. Thunder, that's our team. Yeah. So I take that very personally. Obviously, I'm just kidding. I don't take it personally. But here's what you need to know about the Thunder. Darius Baisley, keep your Come eye on, on that baby. boy. How old is he? He's like, what, 18, 19 yeah. years old? He's crazy young. He's and crazy the young. Dude's got it. He's 20 years old. And what's super cool is he actually recorded a video for us yep. here at Switch on this YouTube channel that you can check out where he shares the story of what God has done in his life. Here's what I like about Darius he's taken something he's really good at basketball mm -hmm. and he's used it as a platform to share his story with other people man what a freaking gift yeah love that guy darius bailey's the take that damian lillard yeah we've talked about a lot of things we have right we talked about mini brands which is your new favorite thing his new hobby we talked about pokemon and post malone we talked about sports also coming up this upcoming week is the nba all-star game so we'll be talking about that next week on culture makers yeah you heard that right not in two weeks because as of today culture makers is every single week y'all said you liked it you've been liking it leaving comments so we want to bring this content to you next week i'm sure we'll have vince back but Stephen Cole will probably make a guest appearance in the future because yeah, this is fun. Those, like this. those disappointing dad vibes, I think we need more of that. Uh, Any okay. last words for uh, our viewers? Don't do drugs. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for these, this week's episode of Culture Maker. Seriously, it's an honor to get to be a part of the conversation with you as you're trying to navigate what it looks like to follow Jesus in a culture that oftentimes tempts us to do things and say things that are so much less than what God has called us to. So make sure if you haven't already liked the video, leave a comment down below with any questions you have that you want us to talk about in future videos. Yeah. Subscribe to the YouTube channel because we got content like this that comes out every single week. With all that being said, goodbye.